Day one of active operations for the UK's own version of the American FBI, and a raid was set up for the cameras. Admittedly, it was a bit slow going. For a time, they couldn't get through the gates to the house. But eventually they did. National Crime Agency, open the door. Knocked on the door and got in. And out came a man in handcuffs suspected of organised identity theft. What was most striking about it was the sheer ordinariness of the street. But the government believes there are five and a half thousand criminal gangs operating in the UK and looking normal is part of their disguise. What we see outside our front doors, what affects our neighbourhoods, whether it's controlled drugs, whether it's people trafficking, it's cyber that comes into our homes, the internet comes into our home without even opening up the front door, means that we do need a response at neighbourhood level in towns and cities, but frankly that response needs to reflect the nature of the threat. Law enforcement agencies are increasingly having to work across borders as crime has become as globalised as the economy. Here, some people from Eastern Europe are arrested over allegations they were running a people trafficking ring from a flat somewhere in London. With large numbers of women being trafficked into forced prostitution in the UK, the National Crime Agency will take over border security too. It all plays into a greater political strategy by the government to get rid of unwanted outsiders. I think what's important is that we operate internationally to ensure that we are disrupting organised criminals and where that will be trafficking of a variety of sorts, um, drug trafficking, human trafficking uh, and the uh, introduction of firearms into the UK. On me! Certainly the training programmes for the new crime fighters offer a suggestion of an agency prepared to take on anybody, however dangerous. MCA officers, come out with your hands up! Fear stalks the newspapers here of gangs from places like Romania increasingly gaining a foothold in the UK. Even without much evidence to support some of the wilder claims, the government wants to be seen to be acting as tough as it talks. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, London.